So in our last video, we talked about aggregate functions and how you could use those with a single column. I've got an example here where we count and then we put any column at all from the table that we're looking at, give it an alias from that table, and this is what we get as a result. So there's our alias is the column heading and there's the value. We get one row with one value. That's what the aggregate functions are going to give us. Now, if you've been following along with the series, you already have this data. If you haven't, then I will put the link to this file. You can download the zip, expand it, take the SQL file from out of there, and then use that inside of phpMyAdmin. Go to your database, click on the Import tab, and import that SQL file to get the tables that we're working with. So there's a genres table, a movies table, and a people table. Uh, movies and genres are what we're going to be working with here today. Okay, so aggregate functions, sum, average, count, min, max, things like that. Now, we talked about briefly in the last video, if I add another column for my table, so let's look, the movies has director, genre ID, movie ID, movie title, year. So we're counting movie ID just to get the total number. And if I was to add, let's say, director onto this, when I run this, it's going to fail. It's going to tell me, hey, you can't do multiple columns. And the reason for that is you are asking it to count everything in this column, but then you're giving a unique column, an additional column here, and it doesn't know what to do because every single row with director has a different value in it. So it can't squish them all together to do the count properly because you're holding the whole record set open with this director. So what we need to do is we need to group them together. And that's where this group by comes in. Every single column that you add here must also be added here in the group by clause. Every column except for the one where you're doing the aggregate function. Now what I will get when I run this is how many movies for each director. And there we go. Within our table, this is how many and you can see, so Ridley Scott, Quentin Tarantino, we've got two movies by each of them, two by Jim Henson, two David Yates, two Christopher Nolan. Okay. That's really what we're trying to do here. If we were to group it by year, I would add the year here and say, all right, take every year where there's multiple entries for a specific year, put them all together, and then count how many. Now I can change this. I can say count year as well. It doesn't really matter which column I'm picking to count. What's important here is that I'm grouping them together. Any that are the same, we're grouping them together. There we go. So we can see by year how many movies we have in this table by year. And that's what the group by clause is doing. Every time you have an aggregate function and you want to add one or more columns, we add a group by so that we can group things together. Okay, so genre. Let's talk about that one for a second. We have to do group by genre ID. Okay, so same thing. Doesn't really matter what's in here, movie title, movie ID. Doesn't really matter which column it is we're counting. It's the fact that we have this other column and we're grouping them together by that number. So I'm gonna get three rows here. Genres one, two, and five and it tells me how many are inside of each one of those. Total being our alias right here. So there's our alias, and that's what we get for the total here, or for the column heading here, rather. Now, that number doesn't really give me anything that I can use on a website, on a web page. I'd want to have the actual name, fantasy, horror, sci-fi, whatever it is. So that means I need to combine the data from two different tables. I need to get the genre title from the genres table, and I need to get the year or movie title or whatever it is that I want to count over in this one. So we will do an inner join like the previous video. So if you haven't seen the video on inner joins, I recommend that you go back and watch that to understand this. So for movies, I'm going to give it an alias, inner join genres as G. Now, instead of genre ID, I want genre title, but I want the genre title that's going to be coming out of that genres table. So genre title, and we're going to count, could be anything at all. 
So inside the movies table, we're counting the movie ID and genre title. So the group by G dot genre title. There we go. Now, those two tables, when you do an inner join, we need to add that on clause to say how the two were connected. So M dot genre ID is equal to G dot genre ID. We're connecting the two tables based on the value that's inside of here and the value that's inside of here. So those two connect, we get the overlapping data, and then we're going to group them. Once we have the overlapping data where it's connected, then we're going to get the different genre IDs. So this should change to be fantasy, sci-fi, and drama. And there we go. So we're getting the totals. We're getting the titles. They're grouped together. So it's counting how many of these. It's counting how many of those. It's counting how many of these. And we can also add an order by if we want. We can add the, the sorting. So we could say order by genre title. Or in the order by, we can use the alias here actually. So we'll say order by total descending. There we go. Nope. Okay. Not quite sure what happened there. <laughs> Something on my server. So I'm just going to uh, retype this quickly. Won't make you guys wait. I'll just skip ahead. Okay. So there we go. I quickly retyped and ran that again. So now by the total number descending 16, 10, 2 we have these. Now, this is the total for all of the data in the database. We can also add a where clause in here if we want to filter this. So in between the on and the group by, that's where we should put the where clause. So we can say where m dot year is, let's say less than 2000. And go. There we go. Now, so the number is dropping down. So 862. These are the movies that were before 2000, counting them by category. And it doesn't have to be just by the uh, genre title. We could um, do it by director. We can do it by year, whatever you want to do. Just remember that every time you add an additional column here, you also have to add it into here. So M dot director. There we go. Now we're grouping by both of these things. And there we go. So Jim Henson in the fantasy category has two. Ridley Scott sci-fi has two. Quentin drama has two. And then everybody else has one. There's no other duplicates here. So there's nobody that has movies they've directed in multiple categories. We can just see that they are grouped like this. But now we have multiple columns as well as the one that is using the aggregate function. All right, so I hope that makes sense. I hope uh, you're able to work with that. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. I will leave uh, the links to the aggregate function documentation. I'll leave links to the SQL file so you can download that to get the data to start with. And as always, thanks for watching.